all right guys welcome back again um if you guys haven't seen the the previous video what happened was uh the wide body this one here literally popped out i wasn't speed or anything i think i just hit a i wouldn't say it was that bad i mean literally the rim's not damaged i guess it was just enough for it, the fender to pop out but basically i i used the brackets and i used the the two side tape that I was giving the other side if you guys i'll probably repost it again but that one has like a v shape uh bracket that's actually bolted to the actual uh, uh fender like this right here that you've seen literally bolts on and the inside you screw it so that's not going anywhere i was going to do that to this but i just haven't had time guys i've been super busy so that's why i haven't had the time to do this and i guess i should have done it if i would have done it i would have been saving myself a couple hundred dollars i don't know how much i'm gonna pay to get that fixed but it has to get fixed um hopefully my like i said hopefully my boy can hook me up but <clears throat> besides that uh just by the looks of it this is damaged you could just tell this thing is just kind of shredded uh again that's not a lot of people are doing videos about the wide body and what they're experiencing especially on this type of car from 11 to 14 i'm pretty sure the same for the for the 15s because i had a couple of people say that they got the scat pack and they put the wide body and they had to cut this because it's too it's gonna touch the the fenders but if you look here guys uh you can just tell can you can you see how the the tire has literally been rubbing on the plastic so it's been basically eating it uh, i'm not sure i might just cut like maybe a good inch that way it doesn't keep touching it it hasn't been affecting my tires i'm looking at it, it looks pretty clean uh yeah it looks pretty clean i don't know if that's part of it but yeah i'm gonna get get rid of that uh just cut it maybe like i said like an inch or two but basically this is what i'm thinking because i already have a cut here and this is actually perfect I wish I would have made it a little bit more longer. I'm not sure. Uh, if I do, I might have to just make sure the edges are coated properly because I don't want them to rust. Um, <clears throat> but basically, I'm gonna have it where there's, I'm just trying to put it where my finger can reach, which would be right, right here. One here, two, and then, yeah, I can read probably three here. So one, two, three. I want to be able to put three bolts that way i know for sure it's not gonna come out and the way i might do it is i might just drill two holes here pretty big ones and i might coat the inside that way it doesn't rust or anything like that um <clears throat> do that and um that would start welding because i don't want the any sparks to go anywhere but yeah, i'm gonna make two holes and in here i'm gonna grab i think i have my shirt um on my sweater i don't want the thing to scratch kind of hard to demonstrate this uh yeah i'm just gonna find something i'm just gonna grab two long bolts literally attach it here and have this bolt run all the way inside here that way i can just screw it from the inside if you know what i mean guys but that's the plan i'm gonna see if i can do this today it's literally like 11 so i'm gonna see if i can hit this a little bit before i go to work tomorrow morning but uh but yeah, just, i'm gonna do this all off the camera just because i don't have anybody to hold the camera and i want to make sure this thing's done right because once i cut it or drill into it there's no going back guys there's absolutely no way going back so basically this line is just telling me where the wide body is gonna end so i'm gonna have to do somewhere like down here but uh, i'll keep you guys updated so let me do this uh measurement make sure everything's right and uh, i'll let you guys know all right guys so i'm basically doing uh so this is the next day a couple days matter of fact but i'm doing the the driver's side so one thing i have noticed is that if you were to put the brackets like this and i cut the the fenders you basically get this to completely rub off or tear from the tire same thing with this one because if you look i left like maybe a good inch or two yeah yeah about right there and now it's like all gone same thing here like it's literally all gone uh you can even tell like even he just maybe ba barely grabs it barely um but yeah i'm gonna get rid of get rid of this and just maybe cut up to here because there's really no point having this it's not gonna help at all um if you look i don't even think i have it same thing here if you look you can tell where it's been eating at the uh 
fender floor. Let me see if I can put some flash. All right, can you guys tell? Look at that. All of that's technically just eating, getting eaten by the tire. So again, maybe from, from here, maybe a good inch, I'm just gonna cut. Uh, same thing with the other one. I mean, it's crazy, but I'm gonna have to do it because I don't want it to touch the tires. So let me get this cutting well. I start measuring, see where I'm gonna cut those holes at. All right, guys, so I found that it's much more easy for you to glue the those bolts on first and then get like maybe paint and while you're putting it together that little paint's gonna touch where it meets and that's where you're gonna start drilling because uh, I with the other one I basically did the holes and tried to hold the did the holes and I tried to do the bolts and it was very hard to line up so it's better to put the bolts and then do this so um, this is the best route and then again uh, because we want to keep this thing from getting any rust. Uh, the way I did, instead of getting spray paint and sprayed in here or anything, I grabbed this, I, sp I oversprayed it, and I dabbed it inside. Uh, so we know for sure it's not going to get any rust. Uh, and then let me show you the other side. Like I said, once that's done, then we just uh, have some touch up paint. And uh, it looks like this. Literally. I mean, this yes, car's kind of dirty, but. At the end of the day, it still looks nice. It doesn't look like all oh, someone just drilled holes and just uh, left it like that. No, we want to prevent rust. Um, I might still leave this on just so it doesn't scratch the car. Because if you see, because I didn't put much here, it started crash it's scratching the car. So all over here doesn't have any, but it's because of this. So I might have to buy another, another one of these uh, to prevent it from scratching. So. So yeah guys, that's, let me compare to this. Look at that, you can see the chrome. I mean, not the chrome, the metal. Uh, I don't know why, but the, the blade I used that one, I don't know why it just scratches that. It's just, it's weird, but um, it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna touch it up. Again, it's gonna be all covered, but same time I want it to look nice. Well, it's it's not in the car. I know it's, it's dumb, but hey, at the end of the day, uh, we want this thing to look clean as much as possible. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna cut that because again these don't have any purpose no more because look it's literally gone so let me get rid of these while I wait till the paint dries all right guys so everything is done these things are not gonna pop out there's the bolts right there there's the holes they're gonna go in there and then back of it I'm gonna put some washer and get the the bolts to screw in that way they're a complete um, bolt on same thing with this side so and these things are tight trust me this glue it's not coming out trust me it you, in order for you to get out you really have to burn it out uh but it's not going to come out honestly i i can i can promise you that thing is there for for a long time uh but yeah let me put it uh let me bolt it on just because i don't have another person to help me with but it's pretty uh hopefully it, i explained it right but yeah you just Put this bolt inside and just start screwing it from the inside with the washer of course all right guys so i just want to give a little update about the the vents here so uh one guy did recommend me to try the vents for the for the challenger which i didn't actually let me show you how it looks like that's exactly how it looks like um i think i'm just gonna go with this compared to that because i like this but i just hate that it just doesn't have the edges around it to make it look original, you know? Compared to this, this looks way better. Now, the way I did it again, guys, you're gonna, before you even go paint it, I mean, if you already paint it, I don't even know if, if you wanna do it, but basically under it, you can still see the metal, which literally I have some of this, but I have some black one, or black, basically black. And if you can see, it's right there, barely. I'm gonna try to like tuck it in so you won't see it, but from far away, come on, you can't really tell that. But I wish if I would have known that, I would have definitely made these a little bigger and uh, make this fit in or something. But it is what it is, guys. So basically, I got this from Amazon. 
again I have to cut those things off and again you get the the challenger vent as well but if you look at it, it's really really small like literally small as hell uh the challenger the, the challenger the charger vent which is a little bit more wider it does fit so it's kind of weird they used the cha uh, the challenger vents and they used the big one from the charger which hopefully that makes sense but again it's it's crazy i wish they would have used the actual hellcat vents but or the for the charger but uh but yeah guys just in case you guys do get to hear this from um from uh what's it called what's it called a merry a merry hood um again it didn't really need any body work or anything like that but but yeah the reason why i see the holes is because i'm gonna attempt to put some bolts here so i can screw it inside but again i won't know once uh i finish uh this first two things and see if i can find the second vent but but yeah guys this is how it looks like again looks way better way better than what i had so just to let you just to keep you guys updated but uh yeah i'm gonna continue that and i'll see you guys on the next one all right guys so i'm leaving it to uh yeah my boy alex again he's gonna fix the the rock chips on this and then get the where it got hit so he should be out in a bit but yeah guys hook him up guys he, he does some really really awesome work so yeah had a driver like this but it's all good guys this dude you been humping my car bro That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Damn, look at my boy racing my fucking car, man. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> but you can't tell me my ass is clean, guys. what's going on guys welcome back um so um i'm pretty sure you guys know about the whole uh uh situation with the fender flares how uh they fell off when they get painted again the car's been sitting for almost a month about to be a month and like i said so far i've been working on people's cars that have had any time to work on uh, on mine uh but today i think today i'm gonna do it um i need to chill down a little bit and work on work on babe man because again She's the whole reason why I do the stuff I do. And um, I want to show you guys the upgrades that we got. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, again, it's not that big of a big upgrades, but just small little stuff. All right, guys. So um, I actually have to do a voiceover just because we were playing some music. And you know how uh, YouTube is about playing music, you know, blocking you for dumb stuff. But it's all good. So basically, if you saw, we got the carbon fiber front splitter, the side, and the rear. Again, th these things gonna look. It looks like a fish, uh, fish. Uh, what do you call that? Fish fin. Again, it's gonna look really nice because it goes with the front lip, the side. Again, um, got them off eBay. Um, I'm not a fan how thin it is, but check it out, man. This thing. Man, I'm really have to change the back diffuser because we can't have carbon fiber in, in the back. It's going to be matte black. So I will definitely be changing it up. But yeah, guys, I just put some clamps in the si in the inside just to see how it looks like. Uh, and so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm not going to look at that, man. Really, really nice, man. Compared to that, nothing. Again, that just really makes a big difference. Alright guys, so it's late, literally, we've been working on this almost since I think, since I got off work, which is like 5, 6, but uh, 
check it out guys i mean this thing's coming out clean man i don't know if you guys can just tell uh, i think it's too dark but i put back the the wide body again it's really dark you can't see it but i can't actually i can't drive it. i'm just gonna leave it there until the 14 days are over but i just want to go show you guys the the front the front um lip it's literally the same as this the only difference between this and that is this is all one piece literally two pieces i mean three pieces you have to like put them together um one thing that i noticed is that this is actually pretty it's pretty heavy i'm not gonna lie you actually get some meat to it this is so light like i don't know it's really light i hope i don't have a bad uh doubt of like of getting this or yeah guys i just really hope i don't uh change my decision but yeah i already sold that voice so that's going to a new person but uh but this right here hopefully it it holds because it feels really flimsy i'm not gonna lie um but uh we'll see what happens we'll see what happens um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna use some of this and I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna put the screws, but I'm also going to put it right there. That way it seals permanent because I don't need this thing breaking to three pieces in the highway or anything like that. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make the holes and hopefully it comes out clean, guys. All right, guys, so check this thing out. Okay, that is really, really nice. Wow. Uh, Again, I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up for a long time. Hopefully it holds up for a very long time, but time will tell. But uh, but yeah, guys, this thing looks really, really nice. Uh, let me shut the hood real quick. I still have to adjust this real quick, but that's another day. Yep, still gotta adjust that. But uh, but yeah, guys, that that looks really nice. And I said, um, yeah, oh, can't even talk right, but, um, I still got to put the rods, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, guys, so far, so good. I love this thing, man. It really looks really nice. I'm going to try to put the wide body right here to see how it fits. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that this right here might be a problem right there, but, uh, I'll probably figure that tomorrow. Just because it's already late and I'm sleepy. But uh, I'm going to call it a day at night, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Guys, so it's technically the next day. So I kind of have bad news. So I, fortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that. Uh, this right here. I tried many ways so it can fit properly. It's just these corners, man. These corners are killing me. There's no way I can fit that wide body. I tried it. It's really, really tight. It's gonna end up damaging the uh, the fender flares. So unfortunately, uh, um, like I said, I did tell the guy he canceled the order, and uh, I'm basically gonna keep the original uh, eight, uh, I think it's Econ Icon a uh, uh, front lip, and I'm just going to first time. I'm actually going to uh, yeah, guys. So it's gonna be the very first time that I'm going to uh, attempt to do uh, what do they call it. Uh, carbon layout or i'm not too familiar with the term um i get, but that will be on the next video um i think i already made the video long enough but uh but yeah guys let me show you a quick peek on how this thing looks like again if it's your first time ever doing any of this uh you should really check out the next video i'm coming out again it's going to show you literally i've never done it and it's good because that would give you an idea of what to expect and if you guys are down to do it but let me turn around so you guys can see what i mean but just real quick look at this man look at that again that's enough <laughs> no more but uh yeah next video i'll show it from step one all the way up to the very end how what i did to to get that uh, finished results and uh like i said we'll see it on the car um but again this thing is beautiful again the next step on i think on the next video i'll put I'll probably put the uh, 
the clear coat i'm pretty sure i'll probably do it tonight but by the by the next video it should already be installed and i'll show everything but um, i know for sure i'm not going to drive this thing like this i definitely have to put that clear coat look at this thing man clean alex did an awesome job man shout out to him man he he did an awesome job and like i said i hope you guys like these things man these things came out sweet now one thing i have noticed is i do have to probably put like a metal bracket or or something not just clips holding it because look it looks like it has more potential to be up same thing with this has more potential to be up but that's it's, it's because it's just hold, being held by plastic clips and i'm gonna put some metal uh uh, bolts I guess what you want to call them but yeah guys again this thing is dirty I have not been able to clean it at all no more rock chips guys it's just dirt again I have not drove it it's just the fact that the water splashes and hits it but I mean this thing looks so naked without it look at it it looks so naked <laughs> I do not like it but uh and then again this thing came out beautiful. Look at that, man. It looks perfect. Again, Amazon. A, off a, uh, the Challenger. The Hellcat Challenger. Off a Charger 2015 and up. So it's weird what they did, but it looks perfect. I love it. I don't know about you guys. Leave your comment. Let me know what you guys think. But, uh, but yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys saw how I did this. Hopefully, if you guys want i can do it again i'm in indiana indianapolis if not you guys can take my idea share it and uh hopefully we all can get white bodies man because again this thing itself just looks so mean again i cannot have carbon fiber that carbon fiber and not that so that is technically will be on the third video not the second one third one and then to make it sweet I think I'm going to put some one of these uh, things right here, right here, because I feel like they should have put one there. But that's enough, guys. Um, I'm going to call it a day uh, and just chill because I am tired.